Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariongi and today we continue with our topic of discussion. We are discussing genetics. So today uh, we are going to discuss the inheritance of resource factor. Now, <clears throat> uh, besides the A, B and O blood groups, uh, we have another additional antigen that also determines the blood groups and we refer to this antigen as the resus factor. If a person has the resus factor, then we say that the blood group is positive or the blood group is resus positive. And if the person doesn't have the resus factor, we say that the person is negative or is resus negative. <coughs> For example, a person with blood group A, homozygous state, means that that person has antigen A and also has the resus factor. That's why the blood group is A positive. But for a person who is B negative, that person has antigen B but doesn't have the resus factor. So we are going to find out how the resus factor is inherited. And basically we can say that the resus factor is inher inherited according to the normal Mendelian fashion of how the other uh, alleles are inherited. Now, <clears throat> so we are saying that uh, besides the A and B antigens, those two are antigens, we have another antigen, we have another antigen called resus factor. We have another antigen called resus factor that also determines the blood groups. We have an, another antigen or we have an additional antigen called resus factor that also determines the blood groups. E.g. if a person has resus factor, we say that the person is resus positive into brackets RH positive. We say that the person is positive or resus positive if the person has the resus factor and if the person lacks the resus factor he or she is resus negative that is RH negative. So you can either be RH positive, resus positive, or RH negative, which is resus uh, negative. Now, <clears throat> if one of the parents to the child is resus positive, then the child becomes resus positive. So if it's only, even if it's only one of the parents who is resus positive, uh, be it the mother or the father, the child becomes resus positive. And this is because Resus antigen 
dominates dominates over its absence so if one person has if one parent uh, has the recess factor then the child automatically will inherit that recess factor so the recess antigen dominates over its absence now <clears throat> In homozygous state, in homozygous state, the genotype of recess factor is RH positive, RH positive. That is in homozygous state and in heterozygous state in heterozygous state that's why the two alleles are not similar the genotype is rh positive rh negative so where the two are not similar one is positive the other one is posi the other one is negative that is a heterozygous state but where both are positive that's a homozygous state <coughs> homozygous recessive genotype homozygous the recessive genotype is represented as rh negative rh negative and that is that means no recess factor so that means no recess factor in a homozygous recessive state <coughs> So we'll have an example. A mother is recess negative while the father is recess positive. The father is recess positive in a heterozygous state. In a heterozygous state. A use a punnett square. To explain whether the child will have a recess factor and b what are the implications on the child <clears throat> so <clears throat> So we can say that uh, we do a genetic cross diagram no we do a punnett square sorry use a punnett square so we start with the parental uh, phenotype we have the father and we have the mother the father is recess positive so you can say has a recess factor <coughs> 
the mother has no rhesus factor so that is the phenotype then the genotype the parental genotype the one who has a rhesus factor we are told that uh, the father is a heterozygous so it's rh positive rh negative and then the mother doesn't have so she is rhesus negative rhesus negative both are negative uh, the gametes rh positive RH negative. Then we have RH negative. RH negative. <coughs> so we have that. So we use a Punit square. So this is uh, the Ressa's positive father is RH positive, RH negative. The mother is negative, both. So when we combine them, we'll have RH positive, RH negative, RH positive rh negative <clears throat> now there's a correction that we need to make that the father is rhesus positive the mother is rhesus negative so we have rh positive rh positive rh positive rh negative so this is the f1 generation genotype and it shows that all children have rhesus factor. So if one of the parents has rhesus factor, then the children will automatically have the rhesus factor. So the assignment, <coughs> the first question is what is rhesus factor? Two, a person has blood group A, B positive. Name the antigens that are present. Name the antigens present in this blood group. And number three is something I would want the learners to go and research on. Explain hemolytic disease of the newborn. Is a disease that comes as a result of the rhesus factor. Uh, find out about hemolytic disease of the newborn and how it occurs. We'll continue from there. Until next time, goodbye.